Hey there everyone, welcome to Invitation to Wine. I hope you guys are enjoying this event to the fullest. And this time around, I'm going to give you guys stage guides for IW6 all the way to IW8 in this video. IW9 will be in a separate video later on. So I'm going to show you guys in one go, starting from IW6 first. Now just to mention something about the operators you'll be using. If you do not have Ethan bought in the store yet, so if you go over to here, you click on Certificate and you click on Purchase Certificate. If you still don't own an Ethan yet, I highly suggest that you buy yourself an Ethan. It only costs 150 purchase vouchers. And I don't think you guys are low on purchase vouchers at the moment, especially because they gave us um, a thousand rate vouchers recently. So you should be able to spend it on a Ethan. You don't have to build Ethan too high. As long as Ethan is skill one, rank four, and he's only at elite zero, it is perfectly fine for you to use Ethan. The reason being is that Ethan is able to cheese a lot of the smaller enemies. So if you see all these like little um, vars and pots and all that kind of thing, Ethan can actually get rid of them so easily, as you'll see later on when I play the three stages. So build your Ethan up. Um, you can leave him at Elite 0, Level 1, and then make sure he's skill rank 4. All right, so let's start off with IW6. Uh, let's take a look at the enemies. So we've got this guy right here who is weak to physical damage and arts damage. So we use physical damage against him because that's much easier. Then you've got this one right here which is weak to arts damage. This is weak to... could be either but I'm going to say physical damage and this is definitely physical damage. Um, some of these enemies can really hurt especially this one right here. So this one states that after attacking the same target a few times, um, he's able to inflict continuous arts damage that slowly increases over time. So you kind of want to have a bit of a bait so that whichever operator is getting targeted by him doesn't get too hurt. So we'll, we'll figure that out later on. And then anything else that you guys need to note, I think we're all good. So as I mentioned, right, um, Ethan will help you to deal with these four little um, artifact looking things here. Alright, this is the squad that we'll be using. So there's a Ethan on skill 1. And then afterwards, you just bring along a medic. Any single target medic will do. The stronger the better of course, so I brought a Susuro here. Bring along a Centurion, so Popuka is an example. You've got Blaze, you've got Spectre, go ahead and bring them as well. Broka will also work just fine. Um, Steward, bring along either a super strong caster, or if not, bring a caster that prioritizes highest defense. So Kyobi is an example of that, if not you can use Steward. Um, if you're going to use other casters, um, a bit of a struggle because they might not prioritize attacking this particular guy right here. You understand what I mean later on. Alright, so I leave this to you as to how you want to figure this out. Um, bring along a Dreadnought guard, so Mananta's example. You've got Nur Alter, you've got um, Flamebringer, Matoimaru, Skadi. You can use them to replace Mananta. Then after this, bring along a Healing Defender, so for example a Spot. You've got a Gumi that's even nicer. Um, no Osaria as well. And then take along a bait, as I've mentioned. So gravel can be your bait for this particular round. Alright, okay, let's start the map. IW6. Alright, start off by placing your Centurion. Now we want to maximize the range of Ethan. So in order to do so, I'll place Ethan right over here, facing to the left. So he's covering about 5 tiles where these guys walk. Next up, place your caster over here. So Steward prioritizes highest in defense, so he'll be attacking this guy instead. Then next up, you can place a medic. So you see, the good thing about Ethan is that on his skill 1, he deals arts damage onto the enemies every um, second for 4 seconds. So it's because of that that because these small little items, they require number of hits instead of like pure damage. So Ethan is actually really good at cheesing an event like this. Um, other examples of people who could cheese this event for you will be people like your Ching casters, um, Taunts, because Taunts has both physical and arts damage, and then there's also blue poison as well. Now I'm going to place Melanta over here, and along with a healing defender. Okay, gotta remember I've mentioned that this guy needs a beat. Look at that, Ethan is so good at clearing things out. Alright, great job there. 
So even though there's that little like circular item that needs like 30 hits, Ethan is still able to handle it. Alright, uh, let's place a bait. So I'm gonna place a bait over here. So it's gonna deal continuous us damage onto gravel, but it's fine. Let's get some um, additional healing. Then activate your your healing defender skill and your medic skill, along with all of your physical damage dealers as well. And then just like that, very simply, it's done. All right, shouldn't be too bad for you guys to follow. All right. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next one is going to be IW7. So IW7 has a bit of different enemies. Um, we're introduced to this guy called Sinking Sand, which really hurts a lot if you happen to block him and make him smack someone. So he's got B defense and B resistance. Uh, I'm going to use Arts damage against him later on. And he consumes Broken Blades to increase attack. So we kind of don't want to have him um, to be blocked by any of the operators because his attack is seriously high. Um, there's also this guy right here where he deals arts damage that can reduce allied uh, units ASPD, which is pretty bad. Um, but we'll have a way to counter him. He is weak to physical damage, and this is also weak to physical damage. And then of course for the remaining items over here, um, we'll use Ethan to deal with it. So even though this guy needs like 25 times to be hit, Ethan will deal just the number of times. Alright, this is the squad that we'll be using. So bring along a NTS sniper, a marksman sniper that is. Uh, Cruz is going to be an example of that. If you've got Jessica, um, Axia, Aketo, um, Blue Poison, um, Ash, like Platinum, anyone that you have in mind, Ray Shorts, so on and so forth, you can use them to replace Cruz. Then bring along a healing defender. This time, try to bring someone that always heals. So Gumi is an example of that. If you've got Null and Saria, that's also good. <laughs> then take a Ethan, as mentioned, again on the scale 1, um, along with a... Uh, caster, so Steward is an example of that. And then take two slower supporters. If you don't have enough build, then please try to build um, two for yourself. If you don't want to use slower supporters, you can also use casters instead. As long as your casters are strong enough to actually kill this particular guy right here. Because his weakness is more to arts damage. Alright, let's play the stage. IW7. Let's place Cruise over here. <laughs> and then place a healing defender. And then place a caster as well. Following up, we're gonna put Ethan in. Place Ethan over here. And then we're going to have um, our slow supporters. So I'll place one slow supporter there. And then another slow supporter as well. Now once this guy enters the stairs, then you can retreat your steward. The steward's not going to do anything after this. So with arts damage, you can see that the broken blades have like came out. So not all too bad. There's another guy right there. Ethan will help to deal with this side of the map. So feel free to use your slower supporter skill to assist a little with trying to take this guy out. You can place your caster over here to assist as well. Just like that. And there you go. Very, very simple stuff. You can even use Podenko's skill to assist, but no worries, apparently Ethan has taken all of them out. There you go. Super simple. Alright. Okay, let's go on to the last stage of this video, which is IW8. Now surprisingly, even though IW8 is later in the line, um, behind IW6 and 7, I do think that this stage is a little easier than before. There is a new enemy called Clarity over here, who is weak to Arts damage. And he periodically grants temporary invisibility to surrounding enemies, and he can spawn one bronze lamp stand, which is probably the toughest item to destroy, because it takes 35 times to defeat. But even so, 
this thing moves really slowly, which is why Ethan is still able to take out such an item. Alright, and then there's the other guys over here who are weaker to physical damage. As we saw just now, um, we use Popo Car against them. So that's what we're going to use. This is a squad, so it's much smaller than IW6 and IW7. Um, as mentioned, there's that one enemy that is weak to arts damage, so we'll use Moose against him. And then we'll use Popuka against all of the other enemies, Ethan to take out the smaller items, and Perfumer to be the main healer for everyone around the map. Alright, shouldn't be too hard to follow, let's play the stage. IW8 Alright, you start off the stage by placing your Popuka right over here. We'll face her backwards so that she is able to handle any of like these smaller items maybe leaking past her. Then place a healing medic over here, your multi-target medic. And then following up, you place an arts guard over here. As mentioned, this particular enemy is weak through arts damage. And you can place Ethan right over here, facing upwards. So by placing him over here, he's helping about um, 5 pals of range. Alright, then it should be pretty like hands-free of a strap for you guys to use. Um, if you ever feel that your Centurion, Popoka, is not dealing enough damage, you can always go ahead, turn up her skill. So that she can handle all of these smaller mobs. And don't worry, Ethan is able to help you to take out all the smaller items, especially because he attacks everyone in his range. Just like that, beautiful stuff. Alright, he's clean sweeping everything right now. I'm gonna maybe use Popoka skill for the fun of it. Alright, sweet stuff. Super simple to follow. Ethan, do one more hit. There you go. And then we're left with the last item. It's down to about maybe 17 more hits, I think. And there you go. That's it for IW8. And that's all the stage guides that you guys will be needing for these stages that you could be farming during the event. Alright, um, I will be releasing IW9 a little later. Um, at least it's not a stage that you guys need to rush since it's not a farming stage at all. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.